All right, in this video, we are going back. We're going back to NB minor version 41.0, which is the full 100% LHR unlocker. Uh, today, played around with Nice Hash, Quick Miner, OC Tune, doing some overclock settings on Nice Hash, trying to get it tweaked in. Got pretty comfortable with it and had it running stable. And I'm mining uh, Ethereum, getting paid in Bitcoin on nice hash then i notice yet another software miner comes out with a test release though of a 100 percent lhr unlock uh second was mb minor version 41 now t-rex minor has a test version it's a test version there's bugs they know it they're working on it i did install it i had a lot of CUDA errors, C-U-D-A, nonce errors, N-O-N-N-C-E errors, and that is in the software. I did, however, download the latest uh, GE Force NVIDIA driver. I think it's dated April 22nd of this year, and if you're not sure, go into, uh, in, uh, I'm on Windows, so let's make that clear. I'm not running Linux or Hive OS or anything like that. This is all Windows version of NB Miner and T-Rex and stuff like that. So if you go into Windows Device Manager, uh, Display Adapters, Pick A Card, these are all 3080 Ti LHRs, which everyone laughed at me for buying. You spend too much on a card that doesn't do nothing, and now it does something. So took a while. Took a few months, but now the uh, LHR is RIP, baby. And uh, suspicions are that NVIDIA did release the secret codes, the trick, the key to unlock the LHR 100% to these software companies, or someone leaked it to benefit the company. Why? Well, it just seems odd that three different versions of software, NiceHash, MB Minor, T-Rex, all come out with 100% LHR unlocks within a day. Pretty amazing. Uh, my hunch is that uh, M uh, NVIDIA is knowing from their merchants and on eBay, whatever, resellers, everyone, and even their stocks are backing up with LHR cards. Why? Because gamers don't buy cards. They buy one card, one and done, baby. One and done. Miners buy one to many cards. And I always said in my videos, if NVIDIA had a smart business manager, they would have a whole crypto miner line of cards. Cards that are basically, you could put a tagline, stuff, not fluff. Just give me the freaking card that gives me the best mega hash, runs cool, and doesn't have all the stupid LEDs and crap on it. Let the gamers have all the bells and whistles and fluffy stuff with stickers and labels and flashy LEDs. I don't want that crap. Just give me a freaking bare bones car, uh, card that works. They would have made billions. But having said that, full disclosure, I did buy NVIDIA stock and it's down almost 50%. So do not ever take advice from an idiot like me. Uh, yeah. So that's my hunch is there was internal shenanigans or just, you know, it's suspicions. It's too much of a coinky dink to be a coinky dink. So it's, yeah. So my hunch is probably true. But anyway, who cares? It benefits us all. And the positive side is uh, we may ROI these damn cards before Ethereum goes to proof of stake. Now, the real cruel irony may be that Ethereum goes to proof of stake next week, and we're like, damn it. <laughs> it could happen, right? But that is just the way it goes. Oh, yeah, anyway, so playing with T-Rex, got it working. There's CUDA errors. It's typical. I had it run. I kept restarting. That's fine. I'm playing with it. Downloaded the latest NVIDIA driver like I just showed you. I go in here, properties, driver, blammo, right here, 420, 2022. There's a version. You take the last bunch of digits, so it's 15.1259, 15. whatever. You get the idea. Get the one that's 420, 2022, whether you're playing with the latest T-Rex test version or you're playing with MB minor or any or any of the minor, even uh, nice ass. Just get the latest NVIDIA driver it seems to uh, it seems to have made things happier on my my systems at least. So there's that. So why am I going back here? All right, I had a few bourbons, and there is a curve. The amount that you drink, or once you start drinking, 
you become like a super genius for like five minutes. And then after that, you become an idiot again. And that's like in the term in software. I forgot there's a term for it. So when we were programming and working and coding, we'd like drink and hopefully we could get a lot done in that, you know, first highest peak of intelligence before the booze wore off and made us stupid again. Um, so I'm at the, it's like a five minute, 10 minute window. I'm at the end of that window. But before that, I jumped back to MB minor. And uh, now I'm getting dumb again. But anyway, I said, I'm, let me just log this before I become a total stupid again. <clears throat> so I jumped into MB minor. Go, I'm going to figure this out. I couldn't get it quite working the first round yesterday. I uh, kept getting it crashed, blah, blah, blah. So I said, I'm going to go back and figure this out. I'm not a total idiot. So the bourbon helped. And I actually did figure it out. Um, before I was using MSI Afterburner and trying to get it to work with MB minor. It was crashing. I didn't know what I was doing. The cards were running hot. I don't know, too much power was being used, over 300 watts. I didn't know what I was doing. Put the uh, OC settings in the batch file, which I love. I think that's new or a newest, a newer feature. They didn't have that before. And that's why I love T-Rex Meyer. You put those overclocks in the batch file, you don't need any other software like MSI Afterburn. You just put them in there and let the software do its magic. Yeah, that's what I like. So I'm glad they did that. I like it. And that's, that's what brought me back. So I thought, let me just start small. I was trying to do six cards at once. Even though they're all Aces cards, 3080 Ti's, they are still different models. Three are the Rog Strix with like three power pins. Power Hogs, baby. And the other three are the Aces uh, Tough Gaming. And uh, they run hot. Those are the hot puppies. And I did reach out to CoolMyGPU.com. They are currently testing a copper thermal plate for the Aces 3080 Ti. Tough gaming, so I'm going to wait until they're ready and slap those uh, copper plates on those GPUs and hopefully get those temperatures at least below 100. It's ridiculous how hot those cards burn. I was so frustrated today. They were like 306, I mean um, 106. I ripped one apart, took it off the rack, took all the screws out. You get real good once you do it a few times. I ripped that 3070 Ti apart like 10 times. So ripped that 3080 Ti, same setup. Pulled it apart, looked at the pad. A couple pads look crappy. I did replace them just for grins. Put new thermal paste on the chip and the heat sink. Not really much of an improvement. So that taught me. I wasted a good half hour, hour, whatever. I'm going to go. I need those copper plates, baby, because I know those work. Love me some copper. And when I do those copper plates, you pay a little more. But I guess, do you really? Because with the copper plates, you just do it one and done, baby. And you put them back in and you're running efficiently cool. Cool, cool memory temps. That's the way it should be. All right. So, like I said, I had the bourbon. It got a little bright. Uh, took a little stab at this. And I said, all right, let's start with one card. I started with device zero. I do know this card per nice hash can get up to 122 uh, mega hash processing with an efficiency of like 412. I don't remember the power. I think it was still under 300. But it got hot. The memory temps got a little hot over 100. But here I just dialed it in at 116.5. I'm happy with that right now. I may tweak it. The idea right now, do one card, get it to where you're happy with. Anything over 115, 116 is good for me right now. That's my baseline. And then that's my ba that's where I want to keep going from and see what I can keep the system at being stable with NB minor while I wait on T-Rex minor to get uh, finalized, uh, Ready for, ready for prime time, right? They're still testing. But MB Miner's looking good. So one card at a time. And like I said, I'm putting the OCs in the batch file. And I learned how to do that correctly. I was previously doing the lock core clock thing setting by putting the ampersand. And kind of acting like trying to be like T-Rex. But that was really maybe for my hunch was for LHR. I don't know why they put that in there. Because when you do the LH, when you do the absolute core clock lock value, you see the temp, the uh, power settings bounce back plus or minus 10, 11 watts. When you don't use that setting in T-Rex, it stays stable like it was staying like at a uh, 290, you can say. And it didn't fluctuate. So I said, all right, let me take that out and let me just actually set the power level, the memory clock, and the core clock. And on the 38 Ti's, you just set it to zero. And I'll show you. You see it right here. It's on, it's on the screen. So what did I do? I started with one card, and what you can do, this is the batch file. I just edited it again. All right. I'll save my change before I forget what I did. All right. This is the uh, MB minor 
41 batch file and you specify your devices. I do have six cards, but I wanted to play with the first Aces Tough card, which is zero. <clears throat> I knew that could get to 120, but I just want to get that up and running. And once I was happy to make sure these settings work, and then you can specify the devices, three, four, and five. I skipped one and two because uh, I, I knew the other ones could handle the settings, and I wanted to get them up and running. Those are the uh, ROG Strix 3080Ti Asus, Asus brand. And all you do is specify the device index, you know, starting at zero, zero, card zero, card three, card four, card five. Then, accordingly on each parameter setting, just like T-Rex Miner, uh, you set the values to map up to the index position of your devices. Again, no MSI Afterburner, no OC Tune. You do it all in the batch file. The only problem is you got to kind of stop the, the um, miner when you're tweaking it. So having said that, you could possibly use MSI Afterburner to get your numbers dialed in and then just put them in the batch file. I haven't done that. I did it yesterday to get some, yeah, to get the power levels. So that may be the thing to speed you up, but I don't mind stopping and restarting. I, I, I got nothing going on right now. My goal is to get some mega hash. Cause I'm, I'm just hoping if I can ROI these cars. Cause they were, what I can't remember how much I paid, 1500 bucks a pop, <clears throat> but who knows? Let's keep rolling. Uh, device zero, three, four, five. So I know, again, even though they're all 3080 Ti's, Asus, they all behave differently. Each card has its own personality. And uh, you got to take that in, into uh, in account, into mind when you um, consideration when you program these things with the overclocks. Power level eighty three percent. And then if you look at the beginning, which is sweet, I like their output. Let's see if I can see this. When this thing starts up, see that uh, blue box? It says power limit two ninety. So eighty three percent equates to two ninety on that card. Seventy three percent equates to two ninety two on the ROG Strix card. So that is cool. It kind of helps you learn your cards and what they uh, what they equate to based on percentages. So again, each card is different. Don't use, I mean, you almost have to just tweak each one individually and that's what I'm doing now. So uh, there's that, there's the power levels like I just showed you. Core clock, I just set the zero because I have no idea. In my notes from months ago when I first got these cards back in October, they just said the uh, core clock zero, okay. Memory clock I'm playing with right now. Again, each card's different. Uh, 1060 seems to be fine. My efficiency is 401. I'm not going to crank that up because I want to be stable right now. I want to get device number three there up to be at least 115. So what I did there, instead of mess with the power, I'm going to leave the power at 73%. I'm going to tweak the memory clock and see if that actually kicks it up. <clears throat> Fans 100% always. I always burn those fans 100%. They're easily there to be replaced, and they're cheap to replace. So i rather just keep the fans running. And again, if they didn't go to 100, why would they put 100 on the uh, option, right? That's my point. The engineers dialed in tolerances for these things. It can go to 11, right? Turn it to 11 if I could. All right, let's do that. I saved it. This has been running for 10, 12 minutes. Let's kill it. And I usually let it spin down for a minute. So we can just sit here together and stare at the logo. So what y'all doing? What y'all been up to? I've been playing with miners all day and yesterday. So Sunday and Monday, I dedicated a lot of time to learning this crap, going through um, discords, T-Rex miner discord, NMB miner. All these discords are very, very helpful. You learn a lot from everybody. I'm not, no one is an expert in this stuff. You're, you're learning every day. It's like, what's the saying? Uh, a pilot is always learning. And a doctor is always practicing. <laughs> so same with this crypto mining crap. It's always something new, like this whole LHR unlock. You got to go off all your settings, find your tweaks. Then once you get those, a new version comes out. So you got, always got to be on top of it. And everyone's good at something. Multiple logs burn bright together. Uh, that's why this community is actually good. I haven't met any douchebags or anything. Everyone's been really helpful. And uh, that's why I like putting out videos to chronolog my, my journey. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Oh God, all right. Yeah, I guess. All right, let's crank it up. We had enough one-on-one there. Uh, let's see. Blammo. All right, there it goes. You will see the settings here. Those red ones mean are the devices I am not playing with. I have them. That's why they're not set. One and two are not being used. 
So 292 on power, four clock zero, 1060 on the memory clock. I love that little blue box. That's sweet. All right. So this is going to rip up a bit. We'll see. It takes a while for it to tune in. The old DAG's getting set. I feel bad for Nice Hash. They have a good thing going. But now you got MB Miner out there. And everyone, everyone seems to be on Hive OS, right? So once MB Miner came out with their Linux version and their Windows version, everyone kind of left Nice Hash, went to Hive OS, brought almost the download server to its knees, bringing a Hive OS to its knees uh, with everyone switching over. And I'm going, I'm going to go Windows. I am so glad I'm Windows because it's a smaller niche of people that mine on Windows because I guess people don't want to do with all the headaches. If you have many rigs, it can be labor, laborious, 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 English hard. Uh, but no, nah, I don't want to pay fees. I'm a cheapskate. Oh my God, we're 15 minutes in this video. Oh, well. Hey, look at that. So this is overclock lesson 101. I lowered the power setting, 73, to keep this puppy well under 300. Before these bottom three cards, we're pushing above 300, like 305, stuff like that in power usage, even on Nice Hash and T-Rex. And I'm going, how do I get these things down? And you really don't know. How do you learn this stuff? You just got to start doing it. You really can't, you really can't fry the card unless you let the power setting go crazy and it shoots up to 300 power. What Man, you got to turn that thing off quick. Uh, that'll happen if you set something to manual like in Nice Ash and you don't have your OCs set ready to go in OC tune, that thing will just spin out of control and that you could damage your card that way. So looking good, we came up, we had 114. Efficiency is the best I've seen it. The best I could get on device dreaded GPU number three, which has been mocking me all day. The best I could get was 376 on nice hash. Uh, but I'm an idiot, so I probably didn't do it right. And I probably have a bourbon 12 hours ago while I was doing it on Night Sash, but uh, now I had a bourbon and I figured it out. Uh, in two minutes, I'll forget everything I did. That's why I'm making a video. So I can watch and go, oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. All right, power. I love that the freaking power is below 300. I like having control over this these devices now. I was just going, why are these things cranking? And then when the power goes up, the freaking memory temps would crank over 100. And it's just, a, it's just an incestuous circle. These things are just, I don't know, and the heat room gets hot. Oh, it's a nightmare. But this is looking good. So you pick the balance. You pick the efficiency you want. And uh, you can go full bore on hash, but then you're going to be burning watts. And electricity ain't cheap. And uh, like gasoline, I expect electricity to probably double in price. God knows what's going on uh, with the people running this country. It's crazy. Crazy times. Oh, uh, yeah. So you got to be smart. You got to be efficient. Maybe drink bourbon every day. That's my advice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. One, so let's drop back down to 112. We'll see if this little puppy goes back up to 115. Uh, where are we at? We're at um, core clock 1050. It's setting that for me because I just set it to zero. Uh, there may be a magic number you all know, but I'm not set it. Again, some memories, some OC settings people gave me don't apply to these cards. It's like I can't set that card to 1400 mem clock because it's going to blast. You know, it's going to TDR and blue screen of death on Windows. So you just can't trust other people's settings. At least get in the ballpark is what I do. And then I start tweaking it and start with one card. Like I said, not all cards react the same to the uh, settings. Come on, baby. Let's go, G, uh, GPU3. <clears throat> GPU3 is uh, it's like my, my, uh, my wife playing hard to get. Come on. Give me that 115. Give me some of that uh, hash rate loving. Give me some of that hash rate loving. All right. Come on. Big money, big money, big money, big money. All right. While we're watching that. Nope. He's not He's not cooperating. Where was that 115 at? Let's go back. 113. 112. 113, 114 was at 291 power. Yeah, so it did hit 114 at 291 power. All right, we'll let it thrash. So there, nothing's crashed yet, which is good. So I'm going to let this go. 
Okay, this is looking good. We got 115, and we got an efficiency of uh, 398. Yeah, if I can get in the 400s, I'm happy. I know device zero, I can get up to 416. I just got to tweak, maybe crank the memory clock. We're going to hope GPU 3. GPU 3 is it's mocking me all day, this little bastard. Hopefully, I can get him back up to 115. I, sh I thought that was going to do it. And I don't know. We'll think about this one. So, five's looking good. We're getting close to 115. 394 efficiency. I might up his memory a little bit. So, this is my thought process. Again, I'm no expert. I'm just trying to figure this out. So, again, not all, not one, one setting does not apply to all cards. So, I got to figure what can I do to bump these cards. And uh, it's best to let him iterate a few times. Look, now this guy's inching up. Look, now he's 160. I'm happy with him. I'm not going to probably touch four and five. Yeah, because the mem temps are not, they're fine. And I don't think I'm going to touch zero because, look, the temperatures are getting close to 100. Yeah. It's not worth the, not worth the squeeze. The squeeze, wait, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. I'm trying to get more um, hash rate out of that and get, and burning up more, uh, uh, getting hotter temps. I don't want more, I don't want hotter temps. Come on, man. So three's acting up yet. Three's being stubborn. So what I can do now is I can go in and I can add, we'll, sh we'll wrap this up. You guys get the gist of it. So one and two are the same as zero device zero. They are Asus Tough Gaming 3080 Ti's. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a one and a two here for device one and device two, right? See that? So now the Envy Buyer is going to pick that up. But I got to set the power setting. So I'm going to stay low on these guys. Stay low to start with. That way you won't crash out. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do, these are conservative numbers. So for device one and two, keep them as the other ones. And okay. <clears throat> uh, core clock, when you just put one number, it applies to all cards. Same as with the fan at the end here. See fan, that applies to all cards. If you wanted to mix it up, you can break them out with commas. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do... I'm just going to do 1060s. For device one and two. Oh, what's device three doing right now? He is being stubborn. He is being stubborn. You know what I'm going to do? I don't want to push it. You know, I'm going to try. I can up. I'm just curious if power really affect it. So device three, which is zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. I could make that 74%. I'm going to see if the PL setting will help that get up to uh, 115. Let's just see. If not, I'm going to go back and up the uh, mem clock. All right, but now I got to kill. I've got to kill me this. Uh, I'm liking those numbers right now. Efficiencies are close to 400 on the bottom two, and um, top one is looking all right. Pretty pretty good. All right, let's kill it. Let it spin down. Yeah, you see the see the process here. I know that people do it better. A lot more, a lot more smart, a lot more smarter people than me out there. Again, I am a product of the public school system of Pennsylvania. Uh, not not the brightest not the brightest pumpkin in the patch. All right, so let's see. But I can usually figure stuff out. It takes me a little bit longer. Let's just do it. Blammo! And did I save the settings? All right, you'll see. There's my five devices. There they go. They're all set. Oh, it didn't like. Uh oh, I said I screwed something up. Did I screw something up? Hold on, we gotta check. That's why you look. Let's kill it. I don't want the... I do not want the power level to go crazy. Yeah, look at that. See that I screwed that up. I put an extra comma. Got to be careful, dudes. See, the the the, uh, the bourbon is wearing off. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No extra commas. Yeah, you got to eyeball, man. Just don't, don't just run it and... Don't just start it and run away. All right, let's do it again. I'm glad I caught that. I could have probably fried that card. Kablamo. <clears throat> Isn't this fun?
this is so time consuming for the little amount of money I'm going to get, but it's fun. It's a hobby. All right. Now you see all power levels, limit levels are set, but notice that on those top two, zero, one and two, I just added, uh, 73% is only like, uh, it's hard to scroll with this stupid thing. Ah, uh, you get my, it's, it's like 275. It's a lot less than the other cards. So odds are I'm going to have to go back and update that power level setting on those cards. Let's just let it rip together and I'll let you go. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Yeah, this is good stuff. I mean, this is really cool stuff if you think about it. Knowing that I may get my ROI on these expensive 3080 Ti's makes me, uh, makes me feel better. Although, <laughs> crypto's crashing. We got Bitcoin at 31,000. Ethereum's probably like at 2,200 or something ridiculous. But sometimes the best thing to do is don't do anything. Don't touch your investments. I don't know, not financial advice, right? Again, my whole point of this channel is I want people to use their own critical thinking skills. Do not be an NPC or, you know, programmed by other people and listen, you know, just don't fo blindly follow people on the tubes, on the interwebs. Go do your own thinking. You go disseminate the information, throw it on the wall, see what sticks, you know, doubt but verify. That's why I look at it. And uh, yeah, go try it. Like some guys for CPU mining say, go try this coin. And I try one, like, nah, it's too much of a pain in the butt. But uh, then one was like, buying this, but get paid in Bitcoin on my CPUs. Damn, I'm going to go do that. And that's on Zergpool. You can go mine a coin and they'll exchange it for you. You pay a little fee and you get paid out in Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, not bad. Right now I am mining Raptorium on my CPUs. So I'm just killing time while this thing spins up. Look at that. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, look at th what did I do to three? Oh, look at that. So see, see how that affected it? Uh, zero, one, two, three. I upped it by 1%. And look at that. GPU three came around like my wife. Once I got her drunk, she came around. And look at that. Same with GPU three. I just gave it 1%, baby. Just the tip. And now I'm at 117. 295 power and the efficiency is three nine uh, what is it 396 is the best i've seen on that card even nice hash and other pretty sweet pretty sweet guys looking good i'm telling you i'm getting sold on mb minor i do use mb minor in my current rigs i have a rig of six uh 66 100 xt amd cards and they those things run without any thought they're efficient they gave me like 33, 30, something like a 33 mega hash on Ethereum. And uh, yeah, mining them on two miners, getting paid in Bitcoin. I love those little guys. Uh, I don't have to worry about them. NVIDIA's, um, I don't have to, they're like the, I don't know, the little stepchild. I got to I gotta keep my eye on them. All right, we're looking good. Three, I am so happy with three. And those power limits are making me so, so good. Yeah, just so happy, man. Under 300 watts. Uh, it seems I have more control with these settings in MB minor than uh, uh, any of the other miners right now. But again, I'm an idiot, so I probably wasn't using the other ones correctly. I think I was so stuck on that absolute core lock, core, whatever it is, you know, the lock, core, core lock, blah, the lock, English hard, um, <laughs> lock core clock setting that uh, it was just, it was blinding me for how to do this. So I took that off and just went right to the core clock. And set it to zero. Man, I'm getting total control now. This is sweet. All right. I think I'm going to wrap this up. All I have to do now is look how low the power is on um, <clears throat> devices one and two. They need some loving. Again, when you're married, you got to have some girls on the side because they need loving too. And uh, let's see. Those two, those two gals, one and two, need some more juice, more power. We're going to boost them up to... Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go up. We'll go gentle with them. We'll go gentle. We'll, 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 we'll go up there a couple percent at a time, you know, talk nice to them and uh, see if they'll return me some of that 116 mega hash and uh, some efficiency. I want to get both of those two, one and two over 400, 400 efficiency, which is your hash rate related to your power consumption. So I definitely want lower power consumption. Because that, that crap ain't cheap. Man, they tax it. 
they charge you per kilowatt hour, they tax it, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. They get you coming, they get you going, and yeah, you got to pay it. Otherwise, they shut your power off. They shut you down. Oh, what are we looking at here? Look at the look at the total hash rate on this card, this rig. Even with it out totally tuned in, it's right now way over 100, 105 more than I was getting without the 100% unlock. So not bad. And like I said in my other videos, all of the uh, extra hash rate I'm getting is about 180, and that's like six 1660 supers or six 6600 XTs. That's a couple thousand bucks in cars, not counting the power. The power consumption, the GPU, the risers, the cables, power supplies. This is a huge freaking win, guys. I hope you all appreciate what they're, these developers are awesome. Regardless of how they got the hack or the or the information, the information to um, do the hundred percent unlock. It's a great time, but it takes a lot of time to dial these things up. But again, that's why people use Hive OS. They just kind of go in there and do some tweaking. I just I've done software for a living, and I never, as a technical person, rely too much on GUIs because I just know they're problematic under the hood. I want to know what's going on. I want to do that batch file myself. I want to run that batch file myself and uh, just have that control. Takes a little longer sometimes, but eh, whatever. I think it makes you a better user, engineer, <clears throat> and understand the uh, domain and the project you're working on. All right, three goes up and down, but again, the power is looking sweet, and the uh, the efficiency is not looking bad. I may tweak, I may tweak the memory. All right, so going forward, I'm gonna up the uh, power level on one and two. I'll keep the mem clock the same. Number three, I'm going to just up the mem clock. I know it's going to crash it, but I want to get that puppy consistently over 116, say. Yeah. All right, guys. There you go. MB minor. A little, a little one-on-one Monday night MB minor uh, one-on-one tuning fest. We should do a live stream and just drink bourbon and do this. I bet we'll become geniuses. Uh, so, yeah, try it. No, don't, don't listen to me about drinking and coding or drinking and mining, you might, you might hurt yourself. You might fry a board or something. Uh, but no, it's true. There is a thing. Look it up. The, drinking alcohol related to intelligent level spikes in uh, software development or technical stuff. It's amazing. Not driving equipment or working heavy machinery. More of sitting at a desk in a padded cell with a computer. You know, not a well, cell, a cube, right? With same difference. When you work in a cell, in a building, a cell, when you work in a cubicle in an office building or a government building, it's a prison cell. I mean, you're not designed to be doing that as a human, and it does suck the soul out of you. And that's a tangent. I'll, that's another video. How to waste your life sitting in a cube like a cattle. Sure, it's called we call it the golden handcuffs. You get paid a lot of money, but oh, dear God, it was it is soul sucking. I've been happy just working outside. I don't know. But then I say that, and then those people working outside wish they were inside in the air conditioning. Yeah, grass is always greener, right? But sometimes it's brown and dead on the other side, too. Yeah, true. All right, it's looking good. Look at that. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, it'd be so cool to get number four. I know four we can get over. Oh, we did get it over 400, so it fluctuates. So the only cards are, zero, uh, are one, two, and three. I'm going to go to it. You see how I did it in the batch file. If you have any questions, Post comments below. If you have any tips, if I'm an idiot, I'm missing something right in front of me, let me know. I'll have another bourbon, and then I'll figure it out or use your advice and make this 100% better. At this point, I may stick with MB minor. Uh, and uh, I don't – nice hash is good and all. I like it. Nothing against it, but I'm so used to doing the batch files and all this stuff myself. And in the end, I'm still getting paid on Bitcoin. This just gives me the option to use any pool I want to use if I want to use Ethermine. Two miners, whatever, whatever, or a dagger Hashimoto, which is a nice hash. I can go ahead and do that. But I mine Ethereum and I get paid in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is king. I think Ethereum is going to go to zero <laughs> or go way down once it goes to proof of stake and all the miners leave. And the people on NFTs and I are going to find lots of problems with their transactions and the high fees and all. Just so many negative things are going to go wrong with this proof of stake, all because they're they're falling into that narrative that proof of work is destroying the world through environmental, uh, digital, 
whatever. I don't know what they're, it's all BS guys. It's all cray cray, crazy stuff, people making up stuff, but that's why they're doing it. They're more like uh, motivated by that. I guess, I don't know, unless they want to stake, then if they start staking the Ethereum, they'll make lots of money too, because I'm sure the devs hold a lot of Ethereum. So either way, good for them, but uh, I need to look out for myself, and that's why I like this one here, but it's a LH unlocker. All right, looking good. All right, that's all I got. Hey, post some comments, like I said, let me know what you think, what you're up to, and uh, what are you going to do after this proof of stake hits? Are you CPU mining? I am not going to touch an ASIC. I am not going to touch it at all. I think those things are uh, fool's gold because, again, they used to cost 500 bucks, and now they're asking 10000 7000 on an algorithm that may go to zero, like Kadana, all this stuff. I just don't see the beauty of it. I know some other YouTubers get them for free, and then they model them and all this stuff. Good for them. That's great. That's their business model. Uh, I am not monetized, and uh, I'm just doing this for fun. Yeah, if they send me a free one. I don't know what I do with it. I don't think I have the power to run the thing, but uh, I don't want them. I just don't. I just think it's full school. But that's another subject. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's all I got to say about anything tonight. We'll do another drinking, crypto mining tuning session. Uh, hopefully, maybe when the, the, the official T Rex miner comes out, we'll uh, grab ourselves some um, some uh, Knob Creek and uh, sit back. Maybe do a live stream and just tune those puppies in. Uh, yeah, looking good. All right. Take care, guys. I am out.